So what you drinking there, Jen? Mm. I'm drinking a mocha from Sparrow Coffee, which is attached to the Hotel Indigo. We were gonna stay down there and do a whole video on just Sparrow Coffee, but it was really loud. The music was really pumping <laughs> and it was crowded and we would have too many people in our vlog. And it's just noisy. Yeah, yeah, and the tables hadn't been cleaned yet. I think that's just because they were so busy. Um, but we ordered, we each ordered a coffee and we decided to share the gigantic cinnamon roll, which hmm. OMG is so delicious. Yeah, it is good. That frosting, mm. It does, yeah, it looks good and it does taste good, so. So this is probably a very bad breakfast choice, <laughs> but it tastes so yeah, good. And yeah. sometimes you have to do bad things. Yeah, that's true. Sometimes, maybe in small increments, but you know, last night was not small increments. <laughs> no, no, Joe got a little bit. Um, what? What are you talking about? Joe I denied all of it. Joe a little too much last night. <laughs> I Disney. deny everything. You can't prove any of it. The Disney drinkers definitely came out last night. <laughs> Yikes. Um, the coffee's just okay. I'm not thrilled with it, um, but the cinnamon roll is excellent. Yeah, <laughs> but it's nice to have it here. It's attached mm -hmm. to the hotel, so it's a nice, easy stop. You don't even have mm -hmm. to go outside. You can go straight into um, the coffee shop from the downstairs Which part, is really the nice floor of the hotel. Because it's currently pouring and very chilly outside, so it was nice that we didn't have to go out in the rain. And we didn't mention, but um, the parking garage is attached to the hotel as well. It's an indoor parking garage, so you don't have to face the elements there either. Yeah, and where we parked was on the second floor. Yep. Checking for the hotel is on the second floor, yep. and we were able to just walk from the car straight to the lobby, mm -hmm. and it worked out really, really well. That was very so nice. let me just show you from the bridge here. I didn't get any shots from the bridge itself, so let me show you around oh, here. Oh, that's a good idea. Just from this overpass bridge. Mm -hmm. So this is Water Street, and you could see signs for Hotel Indigo, plus also some shops, including this London Sky Shop. This is Ben & Jerry's right here. You can kind of sort of see it, that awning, the blue and white awning, the white clouds. So that's Ben & Jerry's. And here on the second floor, you can see the signs for the Plank Bar and Restaurant, or I guess Plank Bar and Kitchen. Um, and on the opposite side of the street, you can see the 64 wine bar. So taste 64 wines every day. So the way the buildings are set up, there are five floors, and currently in the bridge that goes across Water Street, and this side of the bridge leads to the main lobby, and as we swing around this way, you have other elevators and stairs here. This will lead to Santo Cielo up on the fifth floor on this side of the building. So here on the other side of Water Street, you can see there's the uh, Blue Sushi Saki Grill. Heard really good things about that as well. And this is where Sparrow Coffee is located. So you have uh, an entrance, well, two entrances to Sparrow Coffee down here from the street, but there is an entrance there from the inside of the hotel building itself where you can get in to go and grab the coffee. And our room was up on the fifth floor, down at the very end, but on the opposite side. So we did not have a view of Water Street, we had a view of that uh, Webster right down there. And coming back this way is where we are sitting and enjoying our breakfast. So I'm gonna get back to it because that cinnamon roll is calling my name. So how'd you sleep? I slept really good. That bed was very comfortable. Yeah, so what'd you think overall? I love Hotel Indigo and I would definitely stay here again. It was comfortable, it mm -hmm. was relaxing. Clean. Very clean. Um, I like the layout of the room. I mm -hmm. like the design. I like the color scheme, the browns and the blues. Um, just that's just in the room now the overall hotel where it's located 
can't beat it. No, you can I walk mean, to everything in downtown Naperville. Yeah. From this location. And so we're going to try to include, I got to still do a little bit when we go outside, but now of course today it's raining. We had such a beautiful day yesterday. I think that might have actually been our last official really beautiful day. Now Illinois is officially into cold fall. Well, cool. I mean, it's going to be in the 50s and 60s That's over the cold. next 10 days, but That's compared to what cold. we've had, yeah. Um, but as I look at the 10 day forecast, we're getting close to Halloween and it's going to be in the fifties on Halloween. So, well, it's better than last year. I think last year it was snowing. I think. Yeah. 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 It's uh, cause weather, we didn't have any trick or treaters last year. Yeah. The weather could be really schizophrenic, but you know, COVID too last year, but yeah, anyway, that's true. so we digress yet again, the hotel, um, is going to try to get some shots of water street here where they have all of the different businesses, their shops, uh, restaurants. Some of them are. Uh, you access to the hotel or the hotel has access to these restaurants within the way the whole building is set up here mm -hmm. uh, There is a walkway that connects the south side where the main hotel is to the north side of Water Street Yeah, where we have uh, Santo Cielo where we went a separate video on that one excellent I mean, we just had drinks. But I want to try food there. too. Yeah We're gonna come back and try food there because it was probably one of the best old fashions I've ever had right there at that wow. place. So that's high praise. Yeah. Yeah, it was really good um, so I like the area. I like the decor of the room. I love the decor of the entire hotel. Um, so yeah, I mean, really. This was a fantastic stay. I really enjoyed it. Everyone was nice. So the manager, Kevin, that we met, really very nice. We chatted with him briefly yesterday when we checked in. But then Samantha, who was working the desk. She was awesome. And had, she's a Disney fan. Long conversation with her last night. And yeah, she we were talking all about Disney. And she was there for the 50th as well. Mm -hmm. So that was a great conversation. So yeah, yeah, it was good overall. It was. It was a great stay. Um, I'm so happy that we've decided to do some vlogs on local hotels and restaurants and bars. And yeah, I, I, mean, I just think that's just... We a did, great thing to do. We did a bit of that last year, but we, we were so limited because of COVID. So getting out and doing things in this area a bit more, I think is going to be a lot of fun. So we I can think do so that too. over the next several months. Last year was hard because a lot of dining places still weren't open. Yeah. It was limited capacity. Yeah. It was more order and pick up your food. Right. So it's great to see everything opening up. And because the hospitality industry and the restaurants were hit so hard, Joe and I want to do everything we can in our area to help bring the focus back to some of these places so they can get you know get some business in yeah there. and uh, ultimately for those who are still working in that industry they're probably overworked and tired mm -hmm. um, so just remember to be nice mm -hmm. to the people who are working in that industry tip well because yeah, I'm sure they appreciate well. it um, anyway yeah it's 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 nice you know I don't know it's just it's so interesting with how things have changed in the last year and a half and for us we've just kind of refocused and just trying to remember to just be good to people just to be nice be respectful right we try to do that all the time don't and become unhinged yeah yeah I know I know you're gonna to get to that we just watched that movie with Russell Crowe the other night uh, unhinged man he was a psycho wow and that was that I mean what happened to Russell Crowe I'm, I'm gonna digress for just a moment but if you haven't seen this movie unhinged it was entertaining but what happened to Russell Crowe I think uh. he um he put on weight for this role and I'm sure that the studio asked him to do it because he plays this big intimidating guy yeah possibly. and if he was in shape Maybe he wouldn't be that intimidating because he would be way too good-looking. Well, I don't know. Uh, not, but I don't, I don't think it would have fit the character either. Yeah. He just was a big, hulking mass of a human being in this movie. And anyway. He was mean. Yeah. So anyway. All right. Anyway, we that digress. Said, be nice to people, I guess. And don't forget that courtesy tap on the horn. Anyway. All right. So we will talk to you later. Thanks again for watching, as always. And we'll hope that you will continue to watch some of our local stuff before we go back to Disney in December. Yeah, we're getting there. So, all Although right. we still have a ton of Disney to post. We've got all sorts of stuff. I mean, so yeah, we've got, yeah, we got lots to post. So. Yeah. All right, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell because you don't want to miss any of the next Jen and Joe on the go action because we could be going back to Disney. We could be eating at a local restaurant. We could be getting smashed at a local bar or we can be staying at a local hotel. You just don't know. So you're going to have to follow along. All sorts of fun stuff. Always on the go. 
All right, we'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye.